hello welcome back on my youtube channel and today we going to see what is the uh, dynamic routing protocol works on Cisco router I'm going to show you the RIP version 2 routing protocol okay and this diagram we have uh, designed already so we will follow this IP address planning and these uh, two routers we have one router connected to one network which is uh, 172.10.10.0 24 we are taking the classless IP address because we want to see how uh, all IP version 2 uh, different from all IP version 1 okay and this router to having another network also classless uh, 192.168.1.0 slash 28 okay and uh, one connection we have another network which is uh, slash 30 okay mostly we are using slash 30 for when connection okay let's start all devices and then we configure for these two routers okay and while waiting for these two routers boot up we can assign the IP address for the PCs okay these two PCs we can assign IP address 172.10.10.2 slash 24 which is gateway 192.10.10.1 okay PC2 we also can assign the address IP 192.168.1.2 slash 28 which is having IP address for gateway 192.168.1.1 okay we have done configuration for PC1 and PC2 so now let's go to router 1 okay we can configure router 1 or router 2 first either uh, of this okay let me start for router 1 let's go to console okay uh, if you want to uh, like give some information of the uh, config con configuration of the router you can say yes but you just say now for uh, default configuration let it using default configuration and then it will boot up okay some routers in GNS3 will not show like this but some routers will uh, showing like uh, router in Cisco packet tracer according to the version of the router you installed on GNS3 but uh, let's say if you if you see your router is always coming with the uh, already enable command you can change the command later you can change the configuration because mostly all routers are starting up with uh, enable mode I mean with the gloom ball mode after, after you enable so you don't have to enable it will be enable itself but for this router I need to do enable as, as you can see here let me zoom out uh, what is it okay let's cancel it uh, these are the exercise I uh, float out for the students so let's just close it and then uh, let me show you this one this router has not yet enabled 
okay so if I want to use the router I need to do enable or just say an stand for enable after you enable you will see the hash sign after the router name okay and then you go to uh, configuration mode okay and then you, you can start configure router already so before you start configure uh, IP address for interfaces and uh, 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 configure the routing protocol you need to do some configuration to uh, set your router uh, security like you need to put a password you see just now I have enter enable but it doesn't uh, uh, have the password so it did not ask me to enter the password so you need to enable this enable common password when anyone to uh, anyone uh, come to use this router it will be required password to use enable so that it make be it make your router secure so to do so you need to do some line vty my the space zero four this command is to enable the telnet password okay. i will put my telnet password as a cisco okay because sometimes you want to remote your router from from your pc on your desktop you don't have to come to the server room so you have to put this password so that uh, not everyone can log in without a without a password okay so only you have the password right so after you put the password you say log in okay and then exit and then you also want to enable the console if you want to uh, remote the router or switch Cisco using console cable you need to do console password okay line console okay and then password I also set Cisco and then log in okay is it it's it okay after I have done uh, after I have done uh, sign in the I mean the set up the password for console I need to do the password for enable okay I need to enable the password for enable to do so you say enable secret Cisco okay my enable password is Cisco so all the passwords are Cisco okay after that you need to encrypt your password by doing command service password encryption and then you do now login console why you know the, why you uh, uh, no no need login console because sometimes when you uh, enable ports or disable ports it will be uh, alert you will be alert you uh, message that, that is you you have shut down the the port you have uh, uh, enable the port and you have uh, exit from uh, this uh, mode to this mode if you don't want this message to disturb you you just type no login console and then one more comment okay one more comment uh, will be login buffer 8192 debug okay it's also uh, uh, just hide a message okay now let's go to our diagram 
for router one let me make it big size because we don't need to zoom out let's say 16 okay now let's uh, configure interface okay let's start config interface to go to the interface you need to go with int g0 slash 0 enter and then I assign IP for interface g0 slash 0 IP address 203 223 45 dot 98 slash 30 sorry 255 255 255 two, 252 and do not forget to give comment no shot because if you don't have uh, no shot comment given to interface this interface will be uh, uh, stay shut down it mean disable so it, it won't work okay even you have seen this is a green light but it's not enable yet okay unless you go to enable with the command now shot so i i have finished assign ip address to uh, g0 slash 0 so now i go to interface g1 slash 0 okay int g1 slash 0 IP address 172.10.10.1 slash 24 255.255.0 no shot exit from interface mode now I have done configure interfaces now let's do routing protocol in this exercise, I'm going to show you how to configure all IP version 2. Okay, routing protocol version 2. So I go to router 1, then I say router or IP version 2. And then I give the network how many networks I'm having connecting to router 1. I have two networks. One is WAN network, another one is LAN network. LAN network is 172.10.10.0 slash 24. And uh, another network, another network is uh, 203.223.45.96 slash 30. It's the network. Okay, it's the network. So, let's do it let me give you the be uh, let me give only two networks okay network 172.10.10.0 .10 okay another one is two zero three dot two two three dot four five dot ninety six okay dot ninety six and one more comment no auto summary what is the comment no auto summary works no auto summary will be uh, accept this IP address when you advertise network it will be checking this this is class full or classless. If it's classless, it will be showing classless. Okay. Is if you don't, if you forget to uh, give command auto summary, this network's address will be uh, uh, taking to the full class full address. So it's class B and class C. We have done configuration router one. That's it. It's it. It's it. Okay. 
and do not forget to give command save wr will save all the configuration okay now let me show routing table okay show ip route show ip route is the command to show routing table for router one so let me show this is the routing table for router one routing table for router one has not yet learned from any networks we have seen only its own networks okay there are 172 and uh, one network okay so let's continue to do router 2 yeah. console let change the font size The same thing I need to press no. Okay. I need to go to enable. Then I set security for console, enable and telnet. So what to do? Config terminal and then give line v ty sorry live line v ty zero four password Cisco login exit line console password Cisco yeah as, a, as example we use the password as a Cisco login it's it and one last one is enable secret uh, Cisco okay we have done configuration for the security so now let's do no login console okay and then login buffer 8192 debug that's it so now let's go to interface g0 slash 0 g0 slash 0 we have ip address 203.0 223.45.97 slash 30 IP address 203.223.45.97 slash 30 okay 252 no shot and then we go to interface G1 slash 0 right g1 slash 0 ip address of that port ip 192.168.1.1 slash 28 how many subnet mask of slash 28 255.255.255.240 so 240 is the slash 28 no shot okay so now we have done configuration IP address let's go to configure routing protocol router or IP version 2 we need to advertise two networks from router 2 to router 1 what are the network 192.168.1.0 one more 203.223.45.96 is the network and then do not forget no auto summary the same thing as we have configured on router 1 so exit 
is it yeah we because we have done on configuration already so now let's uh, try to see the uh, routing table show IP route yes we have one network which is learn from router one is the 172 okay is the 172 slash 24 subnet slash 22 r is mean all ip because we are using all ip routing protocol it's showing here r this is connected this is local network okay so let's see router 2 oh sorry router 1 just now we don't have this just now we don't have r but now we have r this ip address is from router 1 so the router 2 okay 192.168.1 dot zero slash 28 is learning from router 2 okay we have done configuration on router for both routers we have configured routing protocol which is uh, all IP routing protocol for version 2 so now let uh, doing ping test from PC1 to PC2 see whether it is successful or not yet Okay, let's go to PC1, then we ping to PC2. What is the PC2 IP address? Ping 192.168.1.2. Okay, yeah, we got a reply from PC2. It means our configuration are working well. Okay, let's ping from router to uh, PC2 to, to PC1. Okay, ping 172.10.10.2. We also got a reply from PC1. Okay, so this is the uh, configuration of uh, routing protocol or IP. let's go back to router i want to show you something let's make it full screen if i want to see the configuration all configuration i have configured i need to do config uh, command show run okay and then you type space for more space for more this is the interface g0 slash 0 which is half address of this 1 slash 0 half address of this okay space for more this is your routing protocol okay your routing protocol or IP version 2 and these are the two networks you have advertised to router 2 one more this is the console password which is encrypted your password already encrypted and this is the uh, aux is not enable aux is like console port is uh, similar to console ports and line vty is telnet password also encrypted because you have used command uh, password uh, encryption it all encrypted password okay so now let me uh, type the command exit now you have exit from the router if you want to go back to the to the router press enter it will be required password this password is the console password c i s c o when you type it the password it won't show any character any stars 
it's like not it's, it's like you have typed nothing but you have typed it okay I just enter the password is correct so I want to go to enable okay I have set up also enable password when I want to enable router I also need to enter the password I have set up the password of telnet and enable the same Cisco C I S C O yeah now I can config my router the same as router 2 let me try for router 2 make it bigger full screen I is it sorry show run space 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 here is g0 slash 0 g1 slash 0 and this is the routing protocol okay routing protocol and uh, security i did not type service password encryption that's why it, it show here you see if someone standing behind you they will know the password so they can access to the router okay so let's go to config terminal and you can type the command service password encryption okay let's try to show all the configuration again so run see just now you have seen the password Cisco password Cisco now password Cisco is encrypted okay so be careful with this do not forget to encrypt your password okay do not forget to encrypt your password so my exercise on routing protocol or IP version 2 has come to the end if you have anything please comment okay and ask me anytime thank you for watching